Hey everyone, The Pink Mac here, and I just wanted to make a video uh, to respond to a few viewer questions that I've been getting frequently. A lot of people have been asking me about the hard shell, the in-case hard shell that I have on my MacBook Pro. Basically, a lot of people want to know, I guess, whether or not it works and if it scratches the Mac itself. And so I just wanted to kind of give you my unedited thoughts on this hard shell. I've had it for two months with the laptop and I really like it. The ink case, I think, um, is very similar to the spec see-through satin. Uh, I think they both have a very similar feel. Remember, I have the ink case hard shell, uh, but spec also makes a very similar case called the see-through satin. It also makes a see-through case that is a hard plastic that is kind of more shiny than matte and is kind of more of like a slippery, just hard shell feel, whereas the satin and the ink case hard shell are both have like a matte feel. It's a little bit, not textured, but it just feels like, it does feel a little bit satiny. It just, it doesn't feel, it feels more like rubberized plastic than just regular hard plastic. So a few benefits you get to that are that the exterior of the case doesn't scratch. I have no marks or anything on the exterior of my case, which is not the same um, that you would get with the regular spec see-through. The regular spec see-through I had on my white MacBook and it scratches because it's just that regular, plain, uh, just hard plastic. So that's something to keep in mind, that the exterior of the regular spec see-through um, is something that will get scratched up, but the ink case does not have any problems. Now, does it scratch my laptop's casing? No. Um, I know that I've heard that some people have had problems with it scratching their laptop, and I really think that ha that has to do with lack of proper care because I know you're supposed to be removing the shell uh, like I remove mine once a week because dirt will like somehow little specks of dirt will go in through the crack you know like between where your laptop is like there is a space so you know it's not a very big space not much can fit through there but little pieces of debris can fit through there and it can I think, in my opinion, if you don't clean it out, it could cause a situation where you'd get a scratch because the little piece is moving around. Now, I have not personally had this problem. My computer is still scratch-free, and I really attribute that to the hard shell because I think it does an excellent job at preventing scratches. But I think that it is imperative that you remove it um, maybe not as frequently as I do. I remove it once a week, maybe every two weeks. I wouldn't go more than a month because I think if you don't remove it just real quickly, just wipe it off and clean the inside out with like a microfiber or a towel. I mean, you're, I think that you're running a risk of getting little pieces of debris stuck in there. And as they're stuck and you move your laptop around, it's hitting against your laptop's aluminum case and it's it could cause a scratch. It hasn't happened to me before, but you know, I've heard slight horror stories. So, I don't want to tell you it's not going to happen, but in my mind, the only way that happens is because you haven't cleaned your hard shell. Now, um I know a lot of people have had problems with removing their hard shell. I did a video on it. Um it's really not that hard. I did it like sort of like one-handed while I was kind of just <laughs> like teetering over my camera, but you know, I remove my laptop case in a snap. It's just, a you know, you just have to snap the right parts together and it just pops off. So it shouldn't take you forever to take it off. If you're having issues removing a hard shell, I would contact the manufacturer um, and maybe take it to Apple and see if they can take it off. If you have an Apple screen or you, I don't know what to tell you. Obviously I don't represent either and you know, any you know case manufacturer, but um, I don't. I obviously, as a consumer who's informed, those things shouldn't be happening. And in my opinion, if you are in a situation where your laptop is stuck in a hard shell case, 
you have a defective product or you're really just doing it wrong. And I think most people have the sense to know if they're doing it wrong or not. So I don't want to tell you to do something that could break it or could hurt your laptop in the you know while you're trying to take it off. So my best advice is if anything is stuck, just contact the manufacturer and or contact Apple and see how they would have you proceed because um and I don't mean contact Apple like email them, I mean go to an Apple retail store or maybe to a Best Buy because Best Buy does carry both Apple products and the spec and in case products. So they may be a really good place to go to. Um, maybe someone in the Geek Squad could take it off for you. I don't really know. But um, yeah, so that's my feedback. I really like my in case. Um, I think it makes my computer look really cute. I don't think it adds any extra bulk. It does because it's a case, but it it isn't like it makes it super clunky. My laptop is still super slim, and I can still feel that it's super, super slim. I'm picking it up, sorry. I don't mean to shake the video. But I can still feel it that it's that thin. So, you know, I think it's still sleek with the case on it. I really highly recommend these cases because they are decorative. One, they make your laptop a different color and they provide extra shock protection and they also, you know, keep your laptop away from scratches. And particularly with the hard shells that I like is that I think that with these new aluminum bodied MacBooks, you run the risk of denting um, if you don't have anything covering it. So I think that these hard shells kind of, they keep the form of your laptop, so it's not really, I don't think it's really possible unless you really drop your laptop for you to dent it. So just like everyday use, you're not going to dent this. So overall, I'm pleased with it. I'm glad I could answer your questions. Keep them coming. If you think of anything else, I'd be happy, you know, if I didn't, you know, if I didn't cover something here, ask me and I'll be happy to write you a response on it. Um, or do another video if that's necessary. So thank you so much for watching. Keep those great comments and I am's coming. I really appreciate all of your support. Um, and so yeah, go out and get yourself a hard gel if that's what you're looking for. Because um, I really like mine. So if you're on the fence about it, I say go for it. Um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching yet again. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Miss Trenchcoat, and rate and comment on my videos. I really appreciate it. Bye.